Assassin's Creed DOS. Really good. Didn't play the first one again. I didn't play the first of a lot of things. But apparently it was repetitive as shit. Well, if you're in that boat, I can safely tell you that as a game, even independently standing on its own, this is varied. In fact, I've not even got that far in the story because I've just been distracted by shit. Because there's so much to do. Um, okay, okay, let's start with the... I don't know how far I am. Actually, no idea. Uh, I have got to Venice. Which is not a spoiler because the trailer was in Venice. But, yeah, obviously I don't start out in Venice. But I'm in Venice. Um, really interesting story between... Um, I, d I don't think I'm giving a spoiler away. Or I think if if you played the first one, there was something with the animus. Um, it does come back to this. I have no idea if the first one did, but it does come back to this and makes it relevant, which I think is good. I don't quite know what's going on with the whole animus Templar thing in the future with the magic chair and Desmond and the running and the sink stuff. I don't, I'll be honest. I really know. But it's interesting nonetheless. I think I'm getting the gist. Um, reminds me of Metal Gear Solid where like, you don't quite know what's going on as such and it takes a lot of working out but you get the gist and you're interested to replay it to actually go ah yes I understand more huh. so um, the story I would say gets I don't know if I actually like the Animus thing or not That's that's the trouble I'm having deciding because I, I thought at the beginning it's kind of irrelevant why don't you just make a game based on like just the past because that would be good enough it would be great but relating it back to, I, I, I don't know really about that then again I didn't play the first one but I'm, I'm just not sure it needs it but then again it, it's there and I think as out of place as I think it is, I think it's doing exceedingly well. You know, I'm going to give the story a, a 9. It's actually done really well, regardless of my question of relevance over the Animus and the future stuff. It is really pieced together well in a nice, coherent way, and I wouldn't have thought that they would have... it would have been as can hear out, can hear, I didn't think... I wouldn't have thought it would have been as coherent as it is had I known before or had I played uh, the first one maybe uh, in terms of art style I really like the art style um, it's very impressive everyone looks different um, Ezio's animations are great um, really 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 good combat is fluid um, that's going on to more gameplay but um, the sound is great You'll hear bustles in the street. You'll hear people shouting shit about murderers. You'll you'll hear people talking like um, it just really, really draws you in, like a lot. Um, if you barge past people, they'll call you a dick in Italian. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say in Viennese then. Yes, everyone talks in Viennese. Venezia. Um, Story has Leonardo da Vinci in it. Uh, graphics and sound, I'll probably give an 8. Really, 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 really good. Like, really good. I can't think how they would have made, made it better. Some of the character models look a little bit... Eh. Eh. So that, that's why it's getting, getting an 8. Some of the... Uh, Some some of the eh, there's a little copy and paste I guess. Um, no, I'm just saying it deserves a ten. I think perhaps it could have been better. But then again, the graphics and sound are not the main focus of this game. Just an atmosphere alone, it, it gets. Um, I consider that to be more gameplay. The atmosphere five minutes ish. Um, so on to the gameplay. In fact, like I said previously there are so many things to do money plays a massive role in the game you can buy new weapons new armor 
Um, you get codex pages, you get Leonardo to bug you more inventions, you can explore Assassin's Tombs, I'm not telling you what all of this stuff is in detail, you should buy this game. Um, there's treasure to find, you can buy treasure maps, you can pickpocket people, you can do races, you can beat up events that I've not done any of, but they're there. <laughs> you can dye your clothes, you can um, improve the town, you can decrease your notoriety, you can help people in distress, you can blend into crowds, you can hire um, Viennese hoes to distract guards, you can go around killing guards, you can sneak past, you can sit on benches to blend in, you can hide in garden rooftops, you can um, free run around the city for fun, you can... Um, so much. So, yeah, you can do just a few things. You can do loads! Absolutely loads. You can find more viewpoints. You can do loads. It's pretty much Grand Theft Assassins, really. You can do anything, except there's more stuff to do, I believe. Um, um, just the, the combat is uh, really good. You can pretty much counter, although I'm not finding the countering when it gets to a big scale battle that easy, because you can't just mash square and it does it. You have to time it right. And people like linger back, and you think, okay, it's going to be slow, so you wait a bit, and it's like, <laughs> and it's like, whoa. Or sometimes I'll just go, oh, and you'll like counter afterwards. But, um, there's so much to do. The combat's good. Um, it's really, really good. You don't even want to be fighting them half the time anyway. You, you want to just be like, I want to you know, carry in the story. I'm curious. I don't want to be bothered. I want to pickpocket people and just run away. It's so good. Um, no multiplayer, but it doesn't need it. If this had multiplayer, I wouldn't fucking play it. I wouldn't even bother. I'd think, ah, eh, fuck it. Maybe a race or something, but that's it. That's it. Eh, doesn't need it. Not every game needs it. And this is one of them that done. So I'm glad it doesn't have it. Um, checking the time again. Sorry, I can't see it from here. Um, complaints, complaints, complaints. I think that I have been doing... I did have a complaint earlier when I tried to make this. But now I think I'm just being an idiot. Because you hold down R1 to sprint. And then you hold down R1 and X to free run. Um, so when I've been on a building, like climbing up it, climbing across, whatever, I've been holding R1 and X all this time. And sometimes I will move the camera and he will jump off of the wall and kill himself when I do not want him to jump. And I'm like, oh, it's the free climb button, why the fuck? No, let's see how. Um, but I've recently realised... I do not even have to hold down fuck all. I just have to tilt it if I want him to move. And X is always, always jump. It's not just free run. It's always, always jump as well. So that was me making a bullshit mistake all the way through. So don't do that. Because he will jump off. And you'll get mad. Like I did. It's so, so varied. I'm honestly trying to think of some complaints. I really am. I really, really, really am. Um, I cannot think of any. I really can't. It's really, really good. Give me a week. I'll think of some complaints. I guarantee it. Um, one little thing that's a bit weird is I apparently own several swords and I don't know how to switch between them. It might be that you can't downgrade to a lower sword or whatever, so that might be slightly annoying if you just want him to look different. Or maybe I'm not doing it right. But that's literally my only complaint. So, buy this game if you like. Um, say stuff like Mirror's Edge, the flow of the free run, if you like Grand Theft Auto, give this a try. Especially if you like both of those games. I think it's really, really good. It's brilliant.